Hi everyone, it's Megan from GoGPS and I'm going to be reviewing how to run and re read the idling time and cost report from last week. So this report is currently set on your dashboard. Um, it's right here. We're going to see it with some red bars. And all you're going to have to do is just click once on this report and it will open it up into the Excel version. Okay, so this report here will have a YouTube button at the top as well as a support button at the top. Um, that's going to go in after this video is recorded and it'll be updated inside of your dashboard shortly. Um, and what this report does is it breaks down um, vehicles and how much time and money that they're spending while just idling. Okay, so we're, we have a date here. So this is for last week's date. Um, and it, it will update on your dashboard every Monday for the previous week's information. So this one is showing November 11th to November 17th, just because I've manually ran it for today. Okay. Um, now, if we take a look, it also tells you the volume consumed on idling. It shows me here four. Okay. Unit is four liters. Then it'll tell me the cost of fuel. So we have a default in here. This is um, for Canadian, uh, 1.43. You can adjust that based off of how much your um, fuel is at your current location. Okay. Then it does a calculation and shows us the idling cost per hour. Okay. So that's a calculation that's built into the back end. You do not need to adjust it. It's already set up for you. And just by looking at this information that we have on this report, it's telling me uh, for last week, Jason's van did um, roughly $32 to $33 worth of idling, okay? Down below, <clears throat> excuse me, down below it'll tell us the total amount of time. So it says hours and minutes. For an entire week, it shows me that Jason's van did uh, roughly about five, ooh, five and a half hours of idling, Okay. So that's just off the off the top here. Um, and then it'll show you your top to bottom. So it shows that my vehicle is currently very low. Um, I barely used any money while idling and same amount of time. So very, very tiny amounts there. Okay, so this is the summary version that we're currently looking at. We also have the ability to run a print view. That's the tab at the very bottom left. So again, it'll tell you the name of the report, the date that the report was ran, um, the, the information, uh, or sorry, the date that the information is based off of, so November 11th to the 17th. Then it'll tell you um, a breakdown of each individual vehicle. So we're going to look at my vehicle here. Shows me that I did a total of seven minutes of idling for last week. That shows that it was a total of 69 cents. And then it says based off of you know the total amount of time that I'm driving um, and how many work hours, et cetera, et cetera, um, the total percentage of idling was 1.2. Okay, so there's just a nice clean breakdown. You can print from this page or you can print the summary page as well. It's completely up to you on how you want the information to be um, to be printed or you can just save it uh, going forward. You do have the ability to run this report manually and choose a custom date range. If you would like that, please contact um, our support de um, department, which is service at gogps.com or call them at one 866 964 Six four seven seven, and they'll be able to walk you through how to run this report for yourself. Again, it is set up on your dashboard, which I'm going to show you right here. It is set up on your dashboard to update every single week for the prior week's information. If you want that changed, please let us know, or if you feel comfortable changing that in the setup um, with it underneath the administration and report section, please feel free to do so yourself. Okay, so that's it for our idling time and cost report for last week. Again, if you have any questions, please feel free to let us know. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day.